In today's video, we're going to have a look at the fastest way to connect a Xamarin Android app to your Service Stack services. Service Stack services can be used like any other HTTP APIs, so there's a lot of libraries you could use to connect your Xamarin Android application. However, Service Stack also provides client libraries in many different languages that take advantage of the message-based design Service Stack follows, as well as features to make access easier. Add Service Stack Reference is a feature where the specific Service Stack instance that your application is integrating with actually generates the code on the server that represents the data contracts for that application for a specific target language. This approach lets you communicate with any Service Stack instance in a familiar way across many languages or while providing a typed end-to-end -end integration. Today we'll be using Xamarin Android and keeping our client language in c -sharp. In this instance, our server language and client language are the same. However, add server stack reference gives us the same confidence that the data structures used are exactly what the server and client are expecting. Before we get too far into it, you'll want to have a few things installed. The latest .NET 5 SDK, the Android SDK for Xamarin Android, and the server stack X tool or server stack VS, which is the server stack Visual Studio extension. The Service Stack X tool can be installed using the command .NET tool install -gx. Service Stack VS can be installed under Extensions, Manage Extensions, and then search for Service Stack. So far, we've created an Android application using Visual Studio's Android app for Xamarin template. Running this application for the first time in the emulator, we have a button that, when pressed, displays a notification at the bottom saying "Replace with your own action." We're going to replace this notification with a response from a Service Stack service that's already set up and running. We'll use Service Stack VS integrated into Visual Studio to add our service contracts from our remote Service Stack server. Right clicking on the Android app project, we'll use the context menu Add Service Stack Reference. A new dialog will prompt you for the base URL of the Service Stack service you'll be integrating with. We're going to use todoworld.servicestack.net and name our reference todoworld. If you prefer command line application, the X tool can run X, C sharp, and then the base URL of your Service Stack application. Once added, this will bring in Service Stack.txt and Service Stack.client NuGet references automatically into your project. Opening up our Service Stack reference, we'll see some problems with the data contract and data member attributes. This is due to our project missing the system.runtime.serialization dependency, which can be added as shown. Now we're ready to start changing our application to request data from our Service Stack server. To do this, we'll want to use the JSON service client that is a part of the Service Stack.client NuGet dependency that was added automatically to our project. The constructor takes the base URL of the Service Stack application and we use the request class of the service we want to use, in this case the hello request class. Taking our response and using it to populate our notification, we'll notice that the result property is coming up in our autocomplete. This is because the JSON service client can infer the response type we'll get back from the get request based on the class used to make the original request. Rerunning our application and pressing the button, we'll see that the response is hello xamarin.android, which is coming from the service stack server. Going to the definition of the hello request, we can see how this works. The hello data transfer object, or DTO, has an iReturn interface specifying the hello response DTO. These DTOs are what make up our service contracts, which all Service Stack clients across different languages use to infer typed responses from Service Stack servers. Ideally, since this is a UI interaction, our request would be asynchronous, and the Service Stack clients also have async methods to make this an easy change. Changing the client to use the getAsync method and surrounding method signatures, our UI is no longer interrupted waiting for the response. Using add Service Stack reference and Service Stack clients with your Xamarin Android mobile application takes the guesswork out of what data you'll be requesting and getting back from the servers. Typed end-to-end -end APIs is one of the many advantages Service Stack servers bring to all clients and languages. Regardless of the use case like mobile applications or customers directly accessing your API, Service Stack's message-centric design makes interoperability easy and brings a consistent way to communicate to your clients across languages and platforms. That's it for this video. I hope this example has been useful and thanks for watching.